Hello, today I'm going to show you what can you do with tasks, how can you ma ma manipulate with them. Okay, for this purpose I created a very simple project with one summary task and three tasks. Uh, each task has assignment, so Peter is assigned to task 1, John to task 2, Mary to task 3. They are connected as you can see here in timeline. Let me go here, scroll to the task so you can see. And finally, task one is 100% completed and task two is 50% completed. What can I do? If I go to the task, if I mark task, okay, here, what can I do? I can first open those three dots, click on those three dots, or I can just hit on Alt and M combination on my, uh, on my keyboard. Here I can open details. Very simple. So you, I can uh, see here everything about my task. Start date, finish date, duration, percentage of completeness. If I have a no if I want a note, I can put here a note, a note for task one. I can see duration, percentage complete, to which bucket uh, does uh, this task belong. Uh, effort completed, effort remaining, total effort. I can add dependency. So I can s here add dependency. I can say task. So it dependent to task three, task four, task six, whatever I want. And I can add attachments. Okay, this is first thing. This is easy. If you saw my some of my previous blog, I explained that uh, 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 briefly and uh, uh, about attachments and dependency is very simple thing. I can go uh, to task three and I can say, okay, here, open details and task three is dependent to, let's say, task two. And I will see that I will have task two here. I can also remove dependencies here. So now only task two is uh, dependent on task three. So if I won't go here, I can put here a dependency and I can see task two. So whatever I want, I can do, I can make dependencies. And for this task, I don't want to make those dependencies. I will click on Ctrl Z and I will have once again what I had before, two, three, four. What's next? Make subtask. If I want to make subtask here, then task one will become a summary task, as you can see. So when you are creating summary tasks, you can do it in this way. I will say here summary two. I will now go here because this summary is under my first summary, I'm going to promote that subtask. So I will move it to left. And if I want to say task four, and it should be, sorry, task four, it should be under summary two, then I can simply go here. Oh my God. Okay. Here, I can go here, here and make subtasks. What can I, can I do? I can go here and I can go to delete task. Now be careful. If you delete tasks, which is summary, you will be asked to delete task and subtasks. So what can I do here? I can put task five as well. If I go to specific task, which is not summary task, and if I go to delete task, it will be deleted immediately immediately so you will not get a warning okay so let's go here task five sorry here delete task but if i want to delete summary all tasks under summary tasks are going to be deleted and you will get a warning oh do you want to delete tasks summary and subtasks yes delete okay you can always undo this with here, here, or you can hit control plus Z, which is undo. Okay, I will delete these tasks. Okay, 
What do I, what next do I have? Oh, I can copy task. So let's say that I want copy task too. I will say copy task and I will go, let's say I want it to, I want to insert it uh, above milestone. I should select milestone and I can go here and say paste task. Now task 2 will be pa pasted here and as you can see I have here task 2. John is assigned. It is two days duration, last task 2 and it is 50% completed. So everything is completed. Oh, everything is, sorry, everything is copied. So, once again, if I want to copy task 1 between task 2 and task 3, I will go here. I will say, okay, copy task. Go here uh, uh, on the task 3. I will say paste task and task 1 will be copied between task 2, task 3 with uh, with uh, duration and with completeness. Okay? So that's it. Okay, let me delete this task once again. Now, let's say that I want to cut task. What does it mean? Copy means you will copy task as, and cut means you, you already know that uh, uh, if you use Office. I will move that task, let's say here, paste. Okay, so I will move task 1 from first position to second position between task 2 and task 3. Okay, and here again everything is copied. Now, what do I have to, uh, what do I want? I want, let's say, to insert brand new task, not copy, brand new task after task 3 and for that I should go to milestone and I sh should choose insert task above. So I can here say task 4, it will be uh, dependent on this one, but be aware that then, then if I want to correct something, I should correct milestone because milestone is not anymore depend on task 3, which is, uh, which is here, but on task I should remove that and I should say milestone is now dependent on task 4. So when you insert, you can see here, okay, let's go scroll to task. If I want to insert task about milestone, okay, and I go here and I put here new task, okay, and I say task 5, okay, you will see that if, and I can say, okay, it has four, six days duration. If I go to timeline, once again, scroll to task, you will see that milestone still depends on uh, task four. So when you insert new task, you should take care about dependencies. Okay, so two, three, four, I will say it now, task, task four here and task, five here, not like this, okay, timeline, okay, scroll to task, great. Now let's say what, that I want to uh, give someone link to the task. If I want to give someone link to the task, I can copy link to the task here. It will be copied on clipboard. Now I will paste it on Word. You will see. And if I hit here, if I select that and hit here, I will, once again, my project will be open with that task in board view. So once again, 
I'm going here in Word document. This is linked to the task, okay? I can email it, I can do whatever I want, but if I want to jump into this task, if I click on it, if I open this link, because this is not, uh, nothing but the link, okay? If I want to open this link, you will see, sorry, sorry, that I will have opened this specific task, of course, but not in the grid, but in board, and I will jump in directly to the, uh, uh, to the detail page, so I can see everything. Okay, and let's say that task one is finished. I can click here and say it's finished, or I can go here and say complete task, choose complete task. But what if I made mistake? If I made mistake, I can mark this task as incomplete here, so once again, or I can go here and reactivate task. If I go here and uh, uh, I will not see reactivate task. So what does it mean? Once again, if a task, if you want to complete task, it means it will be 100% completed. If you want to revert it, reactivate it, you go to reactivate task. But if you have task, for example, which is 40% completed, I did it manually, as you can see, now I cannot revert task because task can be reverted, so sorry, reactivated only if it is finished 100%. So I have here only one choice, complete task. Okay? So it will be complete, uh, 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 totally completed. And that's it. Now, what can I do? I can go here. That's not all. Sorry. I can here go and see that I have dependency which cannot be added, added for now, but what I can do here, I can go to timeline. If I go to timeline, I also have same possibilities, okay, and I can do the same thing. So, not only in the grid view, but in a timeline view, you will have everything like in a grid view if you go to task. So I will choose task. I can here scroll to task, which I cannot do here. Why? Because I don't have to scroll anywhere left or right. I don't. This is not the right view. On the, a timeline view, you can go here and scroll to task. So I will go here. If I can open details, I can also promote, cut, copy, insert task about, delete, copy link, and reactivate task. Okay, what about board? If I go to board and I can say this is, let's say, design, and this is, let's say, development, and I can say, okay, task five and task three, are development task four and task two and task one which is completed are designed but it doesn't matter if that makes sense or not for uh, uh, this uh, video what can I do if I go to task if I go to more options I can assign task copy link to the task uh, for uh, to task and delete task I don't have possibilities like I have here I cannot cut, I cannot copy, I cannot insert taskable, I uh, only thing what I can do, three things here are I can assign task to someone, I can copy link to task and I can delete tasks. When we are on deletes, you can see if I delete for example task 4 that my schedule will be messy. So, don't think that when you delete task 4, that task 3 is uh, automatically predecessor task 5. No. When you delete some task, you should take care about schedule. 
So a lot of thing to do with task manipulation when you uh, 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 go here and uh, open these uh, more options. And what can you do with task? Okay, you can move it here like drag and drop. So I want to task two to be at the end. Sorry. Here or here or here. Okay. I can move them as I want. They will not lose their, their dependencies. They are not go going to lose uh, to whom uh, they are assigned. They are not going to lose duration nor com uh, percentage of completeness. So I can move my task however I want, wherever I want. Okay. And I will move it back. So there is a lot of things you can do. You just have to use to uh, uh, use to it. But it is very powerful thing, especially when you are doing uh, when you are uh, building your schedule. One thing more for the for the for the end of this uh, presentation, when you have link to task, don't think that anyone will be able to copy the, uh, to open this link. So if someone, if you gi give this task link to someone who is not allowed to uh, open the, your project, who has no license or something like that, or who is not part of your tenant, he will not be able to open that link. And that's all for today. Thank you very much for your attention and have a great day. Goodbye.